this inhibitors are also called beta blockers, receptor blockers, or calcium channel blockers that aid in inhibiting your body's production of angiotensin 2, which comes as the form of a prescription medication like lisinopril that aids in lowering blood pressure. How does this work? In short, these medications relax your blood vessels, which allows for increased circulation resulting in lowering blood pressure. And geotensin is a protein that your body produces that sends signals to your adrenal gland. The adrenal gland then automatically produces the hormone aldosterone. This is your body's way of responding when your blood pressure starts to get low and it tries to balance your salt to water balance. The kidneys react and release renin that stops all amino acid residue except the first 10. The renin is what activates the angiotensin, which converts to angiotensin 2. ACE inhibitors block that conversion to help prevent your blood pressure from rising too high. ACE inhibitors are used to treat a variety of health issues like migraines, sclerodroma and hypertension, high blood pressure. They are used primarily to help keep blood pressure at normal levels to help prevent stroke and heart failure and sometimes used as cases of heart failure. They have also been used in some cases of renal disease and systemic sclerosis. Some things you should know about before taking beta blockers is that they can come with side effects ranging from mild to fatal. Some of the side effects from calcium channel blockers include the following. Headaches, fatigue, dizziness, hypotension, low blood pressure, nor scoochyprotholemia, dangerously elevated potassium, virologic reaction, rarangioedema, rapid swelling of the skin and other tissue. It's rare. It is also possible for receptor blockers to increase pain that is related to inflammation such as arthritis. It is also vital to make sure these are not taken with NSAIDs, non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, and diuretics as the effects of taking all three can increase the risk of renal failure. ACE inhibitors include such prescription names as lisinopril, prindopril, inalapril and remipril. These medications are not given to people prone to certain other medical conditions or women that can become pregnant or are already pregnant. This is why it is important to let your doctor know any symptoms or conditions you have or that run in your family before you start taking any kind of prescription medications. Learn more at ace-inhibitors.com